like you. You are holy, so holy. Glory to you, our Lord. Let me say you are, you are holy, holy. Lord, there is none like you. to your neighbor in a prophetic manner. Tell them you are blessed in the name of the Lord and you shall make it no matter what because you are not a mistake and you are not an accident waiting to happen. In Jesus mighty name, why don't we lift up our hands and bless the Lord for his presence. Let us bless the Lord for his glory. Let us bless the Lord for his power. In the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. We may be seated in the presence of God. The Lord is good and so faithful this wonderful morning. My heart is well in the Lord. He has kept me safe and strong. And I'm so grateful for his, uh, this privilege and honor to stand before you people of God in the name of Jesus. First and foremost, allow me to acknowledge uh, uh, the presence and the blessings uh, of our dad and mom, Reverend Peter Kamau and Pastor Florence in the absentia. They are doing well in Cleveland, uh, uh, Ohio. The Lord has been good to them uh, and they are pushing on with a mission and they send me with your greetings, Mumezi Pokea. Number two, allow me also to appreciate and acknowledge uh, our well-able presbytery. Thank you so much for upholding this work and thank you for standing uh, with this vision. May the Lord bless you richly in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. I want us to turn to the word of God because of the interest of time. And I know that we are going to be blessed very much this wonderful morning. Thank you, Firebrands, for a powerful ministration of the song. May the Lord bless you. I have just come to, uh, you know, uh, to seal 
and to emphasize that for sure the Lord is coming to restore you in the name of Jesus. Blessed be the name of the Lord. That was a very timely uh, ministration song and that is what God has intended to do in this season of visible signs and visible manifestations in Jesus mighty name. Blessed be the name of the Lord. And this wonderful afternoon I just want to declare to your life my brothers and my sisters in the Lord it doesn't matter whatever you are going through it doesn't matter the darkness over your life it doesn't matter you know the crooked ways and the way the painful you know predicaments I am here to let you know that there is a God in heaven that he is willing to lift you up again and to restore you powerfully in the mighty name of Jesus. Blessed be the name of the Lord. And today by the grace of God we are going to read from the book of Matthew. It is a well, very well known scriptures from the book of Matthew chapter number 27. And I'm going to read some few verses there beginning uh, verse 45 and uh, 46. And from there we are going to pick it up there. And the Lord is going to minister to us in a special way. In the mighty name of Jesus. Therefore, if you have your paper Bible or electronic Bible. And if you forgot to come with one. You can just look on the screens up there. And we are going to read together. And the Lord is going to bless us in Jesus name. The Bible says, now from the sixth hour until the ninth hour. There was darkness over all the land. And verse 46, the Bible continues to say, And about the ninth hour, Jesus cried out with a loud voice saying, Eli, Eli, lama sabachthani, that is, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Father, we thank you for the reading of your word. Holy Spirit, we welcome you to come and lead us to the whole truth of this word. And your name will be glorified in Jesus' mighty name. Praise the name of the Lord. By the grace of God, I want to bring the word of God on the subject. When darkness covers your world and God seems to be silent. I repeat again for those that are writing. When darkness covers your world and God seems to be silent. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. There comes a time in life whereby whatever you are trying to look, you are trying to work out, ili wete kufanya kazi vizuri katika maisha yako, all of a sudden unakuta ya kwamba giza imetanda na hawezi kusonga mbele. We are given a scenario here at Mount Golgotha and those that are scholars wanasema Ya kwamba Golgotha ni karibu na mlima muraya. Whatever the case, it doesn't matter. But the thing is that our salvation came from that mountain of Golgotha. And we bless the Lord for that. Now here is a story about Jesus our Savior in this time and in transition to the new glory of his life. And the Bible says, Alipo fika pale msalabani katika ile suguli ya kusulubiwa maandiko inasema ilifika wakati ambapo giza ilitanda katika ulimwengu kote. Bwana Yesu apewe sifa. Na giza ilipo tanda ulimwenguni kote akalia kwa kuugua na kwa sauti kuu. I have come to tell us brethren when darkness covers your world and God seems to be silent about some particular areas of your life I have come to let you know that you should not be quiet because the Lord you know uh, because uh, when God is silent, it is not an indicator that he is absent. I repeat again, uh, whenever you find yourself uh, in such a situation uh, whereby you need this God like yesterday, whereby you need to hear his voice like now, whereby you need uh, his hand of intervention uh, about uh, whatever you are going through and it is, seems like uh, darkness has covered your life uh, and it is, seems like uh, this God that you, are, that you are calling unto, he is silent. Uh, I am here to let you know my brothers, uh, 
and my sisters. It is not time to quit. It is not time to say let it go. It is not time to run away. It is not time to forsake this God. Why? Because his silence does not mean that he is absent. Hallelujah. Wapendwa, when God seems to be silent, his silence does not mean that he is still. I have come to, to tell, let us know, brethren, that God is still at work with your life. God is still at work with your dream. God is still at work with your vision. God is still at work with that faculty of the ministry. He is still at work in that marriage that is in the verge of breaking down. When darkness covers your world and God seems to be silent, don't be silent. Just know and believe that there is a God in heaven whereby if he may be silent, it doesn't mean that he is still. He is working something better and something good for you are good in the mighty name of Jesus. Come on, somebody shout yay. Glory to the Lamb of God. Yesu akajikuta katika hali kama hiyo ambayo umejikuta mahali ambapo unajaribu kuangalia mbele na kile kitu ambacho unaona ni giza tupu mahali ambapo unajaribu kusukuma kile ambacho unakutana nacho ni upinzani mtupu mahali ambapo unajaribu kujituma mbele lakini giza imejaa wakati giza inatanda matumaini na kuanga imefika mwisho wakati giza imetanda nguvu that will power in a kwanga in but i have come to encourage you don't cease to pray don't cease to attend the fellowship and the gathering of the saints because when darkness covers your world and god seems to be like silent i have come to encourage somebody he is still he is working something behind the curtains for your glory and for your next level in Jesus mighty name the bible says in that situation Jesus looked all up on high and the bible says when the darkness covered the world at that moment when Jesus was in need of the hand of the Father from that situation, the Bible shows clearly there was no sign. The Bible shows clearly there was no voice. The Bible shows clearly that darkness had covered the entire world. But Jesus discovered one thing. That when the Father seems to be silent, it is not a sign that we are, we are neglected. It is not a sign that I am abandoned. And therefore he decided that I will cry the more to this father. And he said, my God, my God. Do you know what that meant? It meant my father, though I can't feel you right now. When I need you so much, you are still my God. And that is why he did not address God like the God of Isaac, like the God of Ibrahim, like the God of so and so. He said, my God, my God. In other words, even when the darkness has covered my world, you are still my God. Can I encourage somebody today? You are not abandoned. You are not forsaken. You are not forgotten. Come on, hold on to God. Fear not. Don't worry what will happen there. Your future is safe in the hands of the Lord. Make him your God, even in that situation. Hallelujah. Can I get to the culture of this altar? 
Number one, we have said, when darkness covers your world and God seems to be silent, write down number one, God silence. Is not an indicator that he's absent. Number two, write down. God may be silent, but he is not still in your life. He is working something good, something better, something powerful behind the curtains. And number three, when God seems to be silent, he is extending an invitation to us so that we may tarry longer in his presence. I repeat again, number three. When God seems to be silent, he is extending an invitation that you may tarry longer in his presence. Utakubaliana nami mpendwa kanisa la leo tunakimbia kwa Bwana na baada ya kukimbia kwa Bwana tunalia na kuomba na kujipiganisha alafu baada ya kipindi kifupi tunaondoka. I have come to let us know, brethren, sometimes this God, he is in need of a fellowship between him and his beloved. And therefore, when sometimes he seems to be silent on you, it is an indicator, it is an invitation that he is extending to you that you may tarry longer in his presence. The Lord wants to fill you more. The Lord wants to have you more. You belong to him. He desires a fellowship that will grow to another level that is called intimacy. Blessed be the name of the Lord. And therefore, when he is silent, don't run away. Hang on. When things look like they are not working out for you, don't run away. Don't leave your place of prayer. Don't abandon your faith. He who promised he is faithful. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Media crew kindly help us with Hebrews chapter number 12 and verse 2. Wapendua sometimes God Anataka ku grow fellowship yako na yeye into another level. And let me tell us, brethren, sometimes there are depth in the Lord that we will never enjoy until we tarry longer in his presence. You will never enjoy some depth. Kuna kilindi flani. Kuna maeneo ya ndani flani. Ambapo hatuwezi kufraia katika buwana. Paka tutakapoamua, tutakawia katika uwepo wake. And therefore, brethren, we should not run away when things are hard. We should not abandon the faith when we are in a fix. Jesus was in a fix. But now, look what the Bible is telling us. The Bible says, looking unto Jesus. Come on. I want to encourage us, brethren. When darkness covers your world and God seems like he is silent about that thing that you are trusting on him the more. Ah, when God seems to be silent about what you are crying for a help from God. Jesus, the Bible is telling us here that we should look unto Jesus. Don't turn away your focus. Focus unto Jesus. Hallelujah. The Bible continues to read. As I begin the end of this message. 
looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him and do at the cross despising the shame and has sat down at the right hand of the father of the throne of God. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Now this is Jesus. The Jesus that is crying and he is calling God with a loud cry feeling a sense of of abandonment and he is telling God that why have you forsaken me now on the other hand after he gets back to this realization after he gets a revelation he says you know what he is doing you know he is still he stands still he hang on and holding on God and that is why number one he is calling him my God my God that you are still my God even in this condition let me tell us brethren what made Jesus to overcome and to cross over the cross to the other side of the glory it is this one thing Jesus knew that whatever you give your concentration will definitely give you a direction. I have come to encourage somebody, don't give your concentration to what is happening round about your life as per now. Focus up on high to the things that are imperishable because whatever you give your focus, whatever you give your concentration, we will definitely give you a direction. You remember the man by the name Peter? When Jesus was walking on the water, all the disciples were amazed. And they began asking each other, what are you seeing? And some will respond and say, I am seeing a, a, you know, a giant, a ghost. And the Bible says, Jesus hearing that, he shouted and he said, it is me, the son of God. And Peter responded and said, that if for sure you are the son of God, tell me to walk, to come to you, walking on the same. And the Bible says, Jesus responded and called him, and he said, come. Now Peter, akaanza kutembea juu ya maji. Akatembea juu ya maji. Kwa nini? Kwa sababu concentration na focus yake ilikuwa kwa yule ambaye alikuwa memuita. Na kwa hivyo akasongea, akasongea, akatembea juu ya maji. Wanafunzi wengine na marafiki wakaanza kumshangaa. But there comes a time mahali ambapo maandiko inasema kukawa na upepo mkali na dhoruba. Na huyu pita ambaye focus yake na concentration yake ilikuwa kwa masia ambaye memuita. Maandiko inasema akageusa macho yake na focus yake akayele Keza kwa dhoruba na mawimbi maandiko inasema mara hiyo hiyo akapokea a brand new direction na akaanza kuzama shake shake your neighbor and tell them whatever you give a concentration we will definitely give you a direction blessed be the name of the lord the change of concentration and focus gave to Peter a brand new direction even when the master is still there waiting for him to another glory. The Bible says once he changed the focus and concentration, he began sinking and Jesus stretching out his hand. He asked him, Peter, what have you done? Why have you doubted and he lifted him up that is to tell us he was just close to his next level alikuwa amekaribia kidogo tu aweze kuingia katika jina jipya lakini akabadilisha mtazamo when darkness covers your world 
And God seemed to be silent. Stay put. Don't be swayed away by the wind and the challenges that are happening around you. Because we should remember this always when we find ourselves in such a situation. Ya kwamba mashua, wengine wanazita meli, wengine wanazita merikabu, hazizamishwi, na yale maji ambayo yanafanya kazi yama yanatembea, kando yake, lakini ni yale maji ambayo yanaingia ndani, diyo inazamisha mashua. Don't give damn to whatever is happening out there. Guard your heart with all diligence. Because if you give down, utazama. Whatever is happening around may weigh you down. But I encourage us in the Lord. If you are in that bad verge of giving up, please come back to your faith. Look up unto Jesus. Come on, give us the message Bible. Give us the message Bible. As I come to an end, give us the message Bible. The same Hebrews chapter number 12 and verse 2. Let us hear, let us read together what the Bible is saying here. Keep your eyes on Jesus. Keep them on Jesus. Let them be fixed on him. Don't worry of what is happening. It is none of your business. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Whatever is happening to your life right now, it is not permanent. That is why the Bible is encouraging us today. Let us Keep our eyes on Jesus, who is the author and the finisher of our faith. The way he's going to finish it, it is none of your business. What is required of you, it is to stay put and to keep your eyes fixed on him. Vile atamalisa, sikugani atamalisa, style gani atamalisa. It is none of your business. Your business it is to kora maido namna hii kwake. Hallelujah. Hata kukikaa kama vile wanasema huko India kumelikiki. Ona kwa anata kukirete. Wali na hii tunaigua no likiki. I have come to tell you my brothers and my sisters. There is a God in heaven. His silence is not an indicator that he is absent. He is there. He is working out something good and something better for you. And that better thing, the things that no eyes have seen, no ear have heard, those are the things that God has kept for us. All that is needed of us, it is to keep our eyes on Jesus. Look what the Bible says. Who both Began and finished this race we are in. The race that we are in, Jesus was there. And therefore, he finished strong. Why? Because, because of this. Now, the Bible is encouraging us here. Study how he did it. Because he never lost sight of where he was headed. He never lost what? Don't lose sight. Because of the cloud of darkness. Don't lose your sight of where you are headed. Because of the cross. Do you know when Jesus realized that the cross means is crossing over. When he realized that it is not permanent. When he realized that the cross is just a bridge to cross me to another level. The Bible says he focused unto the Lord. And the Bible says he despised the cross and the shame there rough. As you watch the same he na kiswahili ndiyo tuyelewe. Biblia inasema ya kwamba alipo gundua na akajua. Ya kwamba msalaba ni daraja. Aha. Msalaba ni daraja. Ya kunifusha ngambo ya pili. Na wakati huwa akajua na akagundua Ya kwamba nitaelekeza macho yangu Kwa mungu ambaya menita Kwa sababu ya utukufu na furaha Ambayo ya meweka Akaangalia msalaba hivi Na aibu 
kwa sababu ya wevi ambao wametundikwa pamoja na yeye aibu ambayo inakuja na msalaba akasema hata hii sio kitu kwangu nitavuka kwa sababu msalaba ni daraja na msalaba cross means crossing it is not a permanent residence i have come to tell us bread friend you are cross may be chronic lack i have come with a good noise with a good uh, you know a good message that it is not permanent that sickness is not permanent and therefore cross that cross with boldness because ahead of it there is a new name ahead of it there is a new position ahead of it there is a new glory the lord is willing to change your history as long as you are going to keep your eyes fixed on him and him alone maso keta kataya victor come closer hallelujah Blessed be the name of the Lord. Bible inasema alipotazama akaona dhawabu ambayo imewekwa baada ya msalaba. Akaona jina jipya. Si Biblia inasema wa Filipi mbili mlango wa tisa ya kwamba ametunukiwa jina jipya wakati kulikuwa na giza na wakati bingu ilikuwa imenyamaza Mungu hakuwa amenyamaza alikuwa kwenye kazi akitayarisha jina jipya wakati bingu ilikuwa imenyamaza na giza ikatanda dunia yote Mungu alikuwa katika shughuli anatayarisha a new position in the right hand of the Father when God seems to be silent he is not you know still he is working out something good for your glory in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Whatever the cross, cross it. It is not your permanent residence. Your cross may be what they are saying and the names they are calling you after what you are going through. Eh, wanaweza kuita kipofu yule wa makoti 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 za kuombaomba i am here to let you know that coat is not permanent even jesus understood that the cross is not permanent it is a place of crossing over it is just a bridge whatever they are saying about you it is just a bridge keep your eyes focused on jesus don't be swayed away by your enemies keep your eyes fixed on the lord the author and the finisher and you shall finish strong let us finish this one. Let us let us finish reading the last part of it. And the Lord is going to bless us. Now, because he never lost sight of where he was headed, that exhilarating finish in faith, you know, with God, and he could put with anything along the way, the cross, the shame, whatever. And now, He's there in the place of honor, right alongside God. There is a place of honor that God is preparing. And that one is just for those that will not be swayed away by anything along the way. Those, it is for those people that have decided to fix their eyes and close down their eyes on the things that are happening round about their lives in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Let's set be the name of the Lord. Where wacha kurudishwa nyuma na hii vitu wanasema. Wacha kurudishwa nyuma na hii mambo wanasema. Hii majina wanakuita sio permanent. You are nobody's opinion. You are what the word of God says you are. More than a conqueror is your name. Hallelujah. A winner is your name. Yes, above and not beneath. That is your name. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Highly favored, that is who you are. Opinion shaper, even when uh, things don't look like so, you are the same in the name of the Lord. Keep your eyes fixed on the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Why don't we, don't we be upstanding in the presence of God? I know there are people here because of the experience out there. Umefika mahali unasikia ya kwamba sasa hii hii imeenda. Unasikia kwamba siwezi kuendelea kwa sababu giza imetanda. 
Sijui nielekee wapi. It is not yet over until Jehovah says so. All that you need to do, it is to keep your eyes fixed unto the Lord in the mighty name of Jesus. Wewe ambayo umetundikwa na giza, giza kama ya misri. Hakuna mtu unapigia na kusaidia. Hakuna kitu unatazamia. Unasaidika. Kila kitu inakaa. Nikana kwamba umefika mwisho wa matumaini. Nimekuja ukutangazia mpendwa. Haijafika mwisho. Paka aliekuita. Ataka pokamilisha. Katika jina la yesu. I want to encourage somebody. Keep on praying. Because a place of honor. The Lord has already prepared for you. The things that no eyes have seen. No ear have heard. That is what he has kept for us. In the name of the Lord. Come on, bow down your head to God. And repent where you have abandoned faith. Repent where umewachilia majukumu yako katika nyumba ya mungu. Simply because of the cloud of darkness. And simply because you have prayed and called to God. And nothing seems, you know, to happen from the heavens. I have just told us, brethren, when God seems to be silent, it is a call that he is extending to us that we may tarry longer. Don't give up. Pray one more time in the name of Jesus. Don't give up. Do it one more time. Don't give up. Yes, walk a walk one more time. Don't give up. Trust on him one more time. He is faithful. The Bible says in the book of Hebrews chapter number 10 and verse 35, let us hold on to our first confession because he who promised he is faithful in the name of Jesus. Even in your hardship, he is still faithful. Even in your painful hours and moment of lawlessness, he is still faithful in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Ramasi Kataya. Le Paratosia. La Posia Taya. Da 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 da. Selelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelel
cannot hear you is heaven to me. You are present, you are present, is heaven. You are here, you feel like you need a special prayer to move on and to finish strong. This is the time. Lift up your hands. Come and touch the altar. This is a prophetic altar. And the Lord is going to rejuvenate your soul and your heart. The Lord is going to do you good. And you will finish up strong. In the name of Jesus. Come on, lift it higher. Oh, When the oceans rise and thunders roll. I will soar with wings above the stone. Father, you are king over the flood. And I will be still, know you alone. When the storm, when the oceans rise, for that heart that is in need of you. Thank you for that soul that is yearning for you in the darkest moment. Thank you for that spirit that is crying out for your help even when they can feel you, even when they can't hear you. Lord, I pray, may you rejuvenate that heart to finish up strong in the mighty name of Jesus. We cover us with the precious blood. And we declare it is well with our lives. And we shall finish up stronger in the name of Jesus. I declare a brand new week of victory upon the lives of your people. And I declare victory upon victory in the mighty name of Jesus. Come on, let us lift our hands as I welcome Elder to come and come finish up. And make benedictions in the name of the Lord. Hallelujah.